Human feet serve not only as the means to walk and run, but also have a profound impact on the functioning of all organs and systems within the body. That's why feet are often referred to as the second heart of a person. They house active points directly connected to internal organs and contain over 70,000 nerve endings. However, many people underestimate the critical role that feet play in our overall well-being. Neglecting proper foot care can lead to orthopedic, infectious, and dermatological issues, ultimately affecting one's health and productivity. Fortunately, you don't need to visit expensive wellness centers to take care of your feet. You can help both your feet and yourself right at home. Simply by soaking your feet in baths with natural additives and therapeutic herbs, you can improve their condition and promote overall well-being. Foot troubles. Feet endure significant stress due to the fact that most of the day, people are on their feet. They spend nearly the entire day in closed shoes, which may not always be the right size and aren't necessarily very comfortable. Often, they're deprived of the opportunity to get a sufficient supply of oxygen from the environment since they are covered with socks made of non-natural materials. The condition of one's feet can reflect the presence of chronic conditions, especially those related to impaired blood circulation. Feet frequently suffer in cases of chronic diseases like diabetes, atherosclerosis, and varicose veins. As a result of the influence of the factors mentioned, whether acting individually or in combination, the following conditions may arise. Fungal infections, which manifest as a chain, burning, and unpleasant odor, and alterations in the skin and nail structure, calluses and corns appearing as blisters with clear fluid or dry growths. They cause discomfort while walking and can lead to infections. Defamation of the joints at the base of the first toes of the feet, where the toe shifts to the side, causing pain during walking. Vascular insufficiency, which can lead to swelling of the feet. A feeling of fatigue and tension. Hyperkeratosis of the feet, resulting in the development of cracks and inflammation excessive dryness, and thickening of the epidermis due to hardened skin. Foot care. Taking care of your feet is essential and should be done diligently and regularly. This doesn't mean you have to dedicate all your free time to it, but you'll need to do a few things. Engage in specific exercises that relieve tired feet and enhance blood circulation in the lower extremities. You can simply roll a foot roller or a tennis ball while sitting. Wash your feet daily with neutral soap, dry them thoroughly, and wear socks made of natural materials. Choose comfortable footwear. Utilize moisturizing and nourishing creams. Frequently replace insoles in all types of footwear, from winter boots to indoor slippers. Trim your nails correctly, being careful not to injure the skin in the process. Another crucial and readily available way to maintain foot health is by using foot baths. You can use herbal infusions, plain hot or cold water, and various common household ingredients for this purpose. Foot baths. It's easy to take care of your feet with just plain water. Using water of different temperatures allows you to train your foot vessels, improve blood circulation in your feet, and stimulate overall blood flow. You can do this in several ways. Warm foot bath. Fill a basin with water at around 36 degrees Celsius and try to maintain this temperature throughout the entire procedure. As it cools, add water at around 50 degrees Celsius. The duration should be about 13 minutes. After finishing, for vascular tone, give your feet a cold water dousing. Contrast foot baths are used to alleviate fatigue. Promote increased blood circulation, reduce swelling, and enhance your overall well-being. Allocate around 15 minutes for the procedure and an additional hour for rest afterward. Prepare two containers, one with warm water at approximately 40 degrees Celsius and the other with cool water at no less than 20 degrees Celsius. Place them side by side. Submerge your feet in the warm water for five minutes then in the cold water for just 10 seconds, and back in the warm water for 5 minutes, 
followed by another 10 seconds in the cold water. Thoroughly dry your feet and put on cotton socks. Lie down for an hour after the procedure. Perform these contrast baths twice a week, gradually increasing water temperature baths. These baths help restore free breathing through your nose and enhance your blood vessels' adaptive properties. They take care of not only your feet, but your entire body. Start with water at approximately 33 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes and then gradually raise the temperature, but not exceeding 40 degrees Celsius. The total duration should not exceed 20 minutes. Perform these baths five times a week. To increase the water temperature, add hot water carefully to avoid scalding yourself and take your feet out of the water during this process. Special foot baths with heating functions are available and are particularly convenient for those who frequently use this method, including elderly individuals. Foot baths with medicinal herbs. To enhance the effectiveness of the procedure, you can add various herbal extracts or infusions to the water. They have therapeutic effects for different foot issues, for excessive foot sweating, oak bark and horse chestnut, for circulatory problems, lavender, pine, and rosemary. In cases of inflammatory changes, chamomile and yarrow. If you have calluses and cracks, chamomile, oak bark, and field horse tail. In the event of fungal infections, oak bark. Before preparing a foot bath with herbs, you should steep the required herbs with boiling water, using approximately 2 tablespoons of herbs for every 200 milliliters of water. Here's how to do it. Fill a basin with water at around 40 degrees Celsius. The water should cover your feet completely but not overflow from the container. Add the prepared infusion. It's preferable for it to be warm to prevent a significant drop in water temperature. Submerge your feet in the water. The duration of the foot bath is about 15 minutes. Now, take your feet out. Gently remove the old skin with a pumice stone and dry them thoroughly. Put on socks and rest for at least 15 minutes. You can also do contrast baths. And in that case, herbs are added only to the warm water. What other ingredients can you use? To address specific foot issues, you can add the following to your foot baths. Salt. If you need to strengthen your nails and ease the removal of dry, callous skin, salt has anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and relaxing properties. It alleviates fatigue and restores comfort. Baking soda. Useful for cleansing and disinfecting. It can cause skin dryness. Apple cider vinegar. Helps eliminate fungal infections and reduces swelling. 3% hydrogen peroxide. Provides disinfection, promotes healing of minor injuries and erosions, and reduces sweating. Plain or tar soap. Softens the skin on your feet. Eliminates skin and nail fungus. Iodine. Essential for combating various types of pathogenic fungi and bacteria. Mustard. Increases blood circulation, warms the feet and helps with colds. Camphor spirit. Effective even for stubborn, thick calluses on heels. Glycerin. Aids in skin regeneration and has a softening effect. Aspirin. Effective for removing skin growths and eliminating bacteria. Here are some recipes with detailed descriptions. Salt foot bath. This method has gained trust over the years and has been used since ancient times. It's best to use sea salt. For one session, two tablespoons of sea salt are sufficient. Sea salt also has a massaging effect because it doesn't dissolve immediately. Hydrogen peroxide should be added along with salt for the most pronounced effect. Use one large spoon of each ingredient for every two liters of water. Regular or tar soap can also be used. Place a piece of soap in the water and wait until the water becomes cloudy and white like diluted milk. To improve your well-being, relieve daily fatigue, and fall asleep quickly, add two tablespoons of salt and baking soda. Tea has a relaxing, antiseptic, and healing effect. It's suitable for those with sensitive and delicate skin. Prepare a strong tea infusion and pour it into the basin with water. The duration of this foot bath is 20 minutes. 
To address various issues, you can use foot baths with different compositions, tailored to achieve specific effects. For calluses and corns, pour 5 liters of warm water into a basin, add 4 pharmacy aspirin tablets, crushed beforehand, and 3 small teaspoons of hydrogen peroxide. The duration should be a quarter of an hour, and you should do this twice a week. For fatigue, in warm water, add 3 tablespoons of sea salt and 10 drops of lavender essential oil. Immerse your feet. After 20 minutes, gently rub your feet with a pumice stone and give yourself a relaxing foot massage. Fatigue will be a thing of the past. To combat unpleasant odors, you'll need a 3% hydrogen peroxide solution. Use one large tablespoon for every two liters of water. The duration is 15 to 20 minutes. It's advisable to do this daily. Foot baths are a somewhat forgotten but effective hygiene and wellness method. Regularly performing these procedures will improve the condition of your feet, help address skin issues, and reduce inflammation. These practices will have a positive impact on your overall well-being and make you more resilient, both mentally and physically.